Tasted. Sauce board. Failure. <laughs> Eat my ass. I ain't gonna count to three. I'm not even gonna count to one. You will shut the fuck up or I'll sing you a lullaby. Hey! Let me speak! <laughs> All right, hey guys, so this is a Rev original dish. And Shani said, that's some stoner shit right there. So this is what it is. This is Rev's rice, man. I like booty. This is this is uh, rice cooker rice, Concord grape jelly, and uh, uh, generic brand creamy peanut butter. I like it. No, won't you? No. They can break you in two, so never sniff inhalants. We're gonna make cheese great again. Oh, God, baby. No, not now, baby. I'm trying to make a frumpkin cake. Hey, it's your girl, Kathy, here, and I'm going to show you how to take a dump on all your relatives this holiday using my book, The Dump Cake Book. Spreading all this holiday cheer, one dump at a time. Y'all already know how to take a dump and put it in the oven, but this time we're going to get festive. Let's start things off with a white trash classic I like to call Reindeer Barf Cake. It's perfect for all the members of the family that don't have other teeth. It's so soft and decadent. You about to get the jaw work out on this one because this dish is tough. It's called the Baby Jesus Fudge Bar. And just as the story goes, all the king's horses and all the king's wise men just couldn't put little baby Jesus back together again. Oh shit, I already got the relatives lined up. Hurry, grab the maple syrup. We're going in with the big guns because we're baking big buns. De decorate your tree with these nuts. Feliz Navidad, mi familia. Oh no, spicy enchilado kick I was kissing on Santa last night and his breath stink. He could chew on a couple of these. New Year's is coming up, y'all. My resolution is I'm trying to find more foods. I got booze and I'm trying to get fucked, fed, wined, and dined. All in one dump. Fuck them naughty ass kids. Treat yourself this year to my book. It's they got recipes that work for all kinds of holidays. You're gonna love my Kwanzaa combo pizza. And who could forget Ramadan rigatoni? And surprise, surprise, the sauce is kosher. Mazel tov, happy Hanukkah. Every day's a holiday when you're taking a dump. Don't forget to make this Christmas extra merry. Check out the brand new merch now available, including my dank chicky nuggies. They also got a shirt with that girl who ate so many mattress dump cakes, she became a dump cake. Goddamn! Happy holidays. And All right, shut up, Shannon. Um, hey, guys. The four people that are here. Uh, let's see. I can see the people that are chatting. We got Auntie, of course. Can't do anything without my Auntie. And Freddie McDonald, but let's see. Shut up, phone. Just like Shannon, you have no right to talk. Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so... All right, so it's just three of us here. All right, so it's just the three of us here right now. But I figured, fuck it, it's Saturday. Mom just got home from a Mama Shaw just got home from her date. She had fun with him. Not that much fun, but she had fun with him. And I figured how I've spent the entire day playing World of Warcraft, getting trying to get my panda geared. And so I'm like, let's take a break and tear apart Shanny. Hey! Hello Tubian, how you doing? Yeah, she can't cook. So Sleazy Saturday. There we go. Or Shaw can't get her shit together Saturday. One of the two. Um, but I figured I've, I've torn apart her cooking videos before. And so why not do it again? 
So here we go. We're going to tear apart. It's fettuccine, alfredo, focaccia, and cucumber salad. And just want to make this clear. I'm probably going to repeat it a couple of times during the stream. This, uh, these cooking shows that she did mostly took place in the uh, town home in Colorado that they lived in before they got kicked out and had to move back to Pennsylvania to become homeless. <laughs> yes, Freddie. I mean, how can, how can you kill that which has been dead inside for years? <laughs> but uh, no, all these took place in their Colorado home. So be keep that in mind whenever you notice things that are going on around her kitchen, that this is a brand new apartment. They were the first ones that ever lived in these apartments. Her and Rev were. So everything that is disgusting, moldy, dirty, broken, they did that shit. They tore apart a brand new apartment. I think we've all seen the the uh, video where they walked through and showed just how terrible it was. But this is what takes place there. So this is Shani's cooking show. And um, I'm just trying to get this at the right angle. I mean, because look at how, look, we're already starting. We haven't even gotten a minute in. And look at how disgusting her stove is. I have a glass top stove in my house. My glass top stove is probably about 10 years old, I would say. And it's cleaner than this. What's up, guys? What's up? We're going to be making some fettuccine Alfredo tonight. And What's up? Alfredo. Uh oh, Shanny can't stream. Shanny can't stream, guys. So tonight we're gonna be making some fettuccine Alfredo. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be good. No, it's not. I can guarantee. Um, look at how. Look at the. Look at all of this junk that's on her counter. All this junk that's on her counter. Now, mind you, like I said, this is a this was a very nice kitchen when they moved in. It had island counters, plenty of space for everything. But she puts everything on this one counter. And then she does all of her food prep, cooking, everything is on the stove. She doesn't she will very rarely do anything on the counter. We're also making some focaccia. So I made some focaccia dough. No, she can't figure out a bra. For you guys. Which is in this beautiful pot right here. That so she... I'm... That she... Hey, Blondie. How you doing, hon? She covered up her dough with a dirty t-shirt. Because you can bet that shit's not clean. Bitch cannot even be bothered to get fucking dish towels. I'm gonna unveil it for you. The beautiful That's a big ass fucking t-shirt too. Dough I have not touched since I've made it. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. 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 It's so like greasy. A, oh my god. The texture of this is amazing. And you can see the grease on her hand. Roll it. Great for you, honey. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. This smells and amazing. Look, and look, Ice. Remember, remember, guys. Shani can't walk. She can't walk. She can't walk. She can't do anything. That's why she has to sit down the entire time in her kitchen. She can't walk. She can't move around. It hurts too much. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here, like so. If I need some more, I will get it. But right now... The bread dough is so greasy! I'm just going to be kneading the beautiful dough. That's oh, not beautiful dough at all. Oh, that's a grease fest. That thing has more grease in it than your hair. And that's saying something. It just absorbed all the fucking flour. Now all you want to do is just fold it and then press down. Fold it and press down. No, you need to throw it away and start over again, bitch. Look 
at her hand. Look at the size of her so hand. Amazing. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here, sweetie. Ew. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back a little bit. That pan just came out of the cabinet, mind you. Come here, Steve. Look at that pan. Look at the pan. That pan just came out of the fucking cabinet. That pan just came out of the fucking cabinet. And already it looks like this. Ugh. Hey, Marion. How you doing, hon? <laughs> I'm just going to put it, make it in a loaf. Kind of like spread it out a little bit. That pan was, that pan is already disgusting and she just pulled it out from underneath the counter. You guys saw her pull it out. The thing was disgusting. And there she goes. She got to sit down. All right. Spread it out. I'm good. Spread it out. I hate it when she does these damn accents. Beautiful dough. No, it's not it's beautiful dough. Gorgeous, isn't it? it looks terrible. It looks like shit. It's so in a rectangular shape. God, look how big her I fucking hands are. I say leave it like are. maybe. I say quarter inch thickness. Now, for the green. I mean, just look at the corner right here, down here at the bottom. Yeah, this is a video on what not to do in the kitchen. Trust me. Uh, if you, anything you should take away from this is not do what Shani does. <laughs> No, Auntie, I don't think it counts as fiber, but it does allow Rev to be that much closer to his dear Gavin Kit Kats. Ingredients on said beautiful, delicious piece, or not pizza dough, but focaccia dough, we need to be doing some stuff. So I need to chop some things real quick. So this is what I'm going to put in my focaccia. Wash your cutting board. Two tomatoes. Wash your cutting board. Onion. And a little bit of garlic I'm going to put in there so it's like roasted garlic. We got some thyme we're going to put on top of it. That's rosemary. Or some rosemary, some thyme, and some sea salt to be on Wash top your fucking cutting of this board. delicious focaccia. Now, first, I'm just going to wash these tomatoes real quick. Why are you washing the tomatoes but not washing your cutting board? Why? Why? Great. I love <laughs> that'll, that'll be... So, <laughs> oh, how's my... How's... How we're going to chop our... I will let you guys know that Mama Shaw came home from her date. She had a lot of fun. Uh, the fellow that she's seeing is, he's a real nice guy. They're going to be having some more lunches, some more dinners. So she's going to get to see him again. Um, but he was, he's been a friend of hers for a while. He's been running in the same circles as her. Um, as far as the whole BDSM thing, he's been running in the same circles. So yeah, they've, they've been, they've been friends for a while and, uh, she's just happy. You know, she's finally got someone that she can, you know, talk to. Other than me, obviously, because I live with her. But she came home. She's, she had fun. She had a good time with him. She co got to cook him some lunch. Meanwhile, over, over here, my cheap ass had some ramen. Not because I didn't have anything else to eat in the house. But because I like ramen. 
tomatoes is actually in the rounds. Um, that's how we're going to be chopping our tomatoes, is in rounds. Why would you want... I apologize you? for that. I apologize for that. Now the tomatoes, you want it to look like this, just a round tomato. I'm sorry. Right now I'm getting the ingredients ready for the pasta dough. I don't know how long my phone's been blacked out. I apologize. I don't know why it did that. Why in the hell? do that. Why would you wash the tomatoes oh and not your I cutting board? Slice it. And why are you, you are using a fucking dull ass knife. I'll tell you I that. I need a knife, I swear. I need new cutlery. You just need a new kitchen. And not only that, I need a knife sharpener. Because I am without one. So all I want to do is cut my tomatoes up so I can make you a delicious focaccia. It's not going to be delicious because you're making it, Shani. And your dough looks like fucking blue. So we're cutting the tomatoes up. Ugh. Alright. No, Shani. Just throw the top away. Cut the tomatoes up. Cut the tomatoes up. Just throw the top away. You couldn't even wash so your fucking So how's everyone doing board. in the audience? Let me go check on you guys. I'm disgusted. That's how I'm doing. Where's Rev? He's being a man. I mean, because holy shit, just... I can't get over how dirty this pan is. And for the people who are just joining us, she just pulled this pan out of the counter. Just pulled it out from under the counter. And already, it came out dirty. Mm. Yeah, the dough I'm looks like Play-Doh. Oh, Marion, Marion, you weren't here when she first pulled it out. That thing was just so greasy. You could see the grease shining on her hands when she was playing with it. When she was playing with it, kneading it, whatever she was doing with it. The only reason it's not so greasy now is because it's just sucked up a whole bunch of flour. But yeah, that shit was fucking, that thing was greasier than her fucking hair. And that's saying something. And barbecue sauce you made, it's delicious. Even my husband is eating it. It tastes just like barbecue chicken. I told you. Uh -huh. I told you. It's true. It really does taste like barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. Hi, Huda. How are you, gorgeous? Thank God they're there. Nice individuals. <laughs> this is your first live, little Miss Phoenix. Well, congratulations. Welcome to my first, to your first live with me. I hope we become good friends. She passed her test. Yay! All right, now that I catched up well, with you guys. That's one thing Shani can't ever say. I'm so, you're welcome for the prayers, Ruby. I'm so happy for your girl. That's awesome. Woo. So. I'm just gonna take, oh, by the way, a little trick for garlic, how to get the garlic, you know, cloves out of said garlic. You take your garlic to, you know, this point right here, and you just press down, turn your hand a little, and it releases all well, the Well, not everyone has a need. giant like, hand bam. like you. Hey, A.W. Ain't that a neat trick of how garlic works? God works in mysterious ways. He, like, makes different ways how to make Oh, yes, A.W. I am subje so subjecting easy. all of y'all to Jabba's terrible cooking. There we go. <laughs> but, yeah, all we have now is clothes. As you can see. She has massive hands. It's like, no wonder you can get the cloves out of the fucking garlic, Shani. So, what Shani. I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I don't want to smash these. I actually want them to be whole cloves because it's going to be like have a roasted garlic theme to the focaccia. So I'm just going to just lightly peel and off. And there goes the garbage bag. The peel instead of like you notice, smashing the peel off, which I usually. You notice she's not actually using like a garbage can. She's actually just using a old shop, which I mean, I use an old shopping bag for garbage as well, especially in my car. But the reason why she's doing this is because 
if you've ever seen any like candid shots of her house hey queen oh yeah by the way uh queen uh i admit i'm going to do this congratulations you have now joined the wrenched i do so this may be a little difficult than usual a good point is just that like brown spot in the garlic oh yeah what i was saying is um is because the reason why she doesn't use a trash can is because the trash can that is in her house that she should be using is completely full and overflowing. So that's why she is using a shopping bag. Just peel that or just chop that a little and that should make it really easier to unpeel your garlic cloves if you do it that way, by the way. If you need whole cloves of garlic in your food, which this focaccia requires whole <laughs> whole <clears throat> cloves of garlic. Say that 10 times, fa five times faster, three times, but whatever I said. Just say, say it fast. Anyway. And anybody else who's wondering, um, I, I, I'm keeping my moderation team small on my channel. There's only going to be, I mean, I'm only wanting to do like three, four or five moderators. And right now, I believe I've got four right now. So it's just going to be a small moderation because I really don't want to moderate my chat. And if you guys want to send me links to stuff, I mean, you got all my social media that's down there at the bottom. Feel free to send me anything you want. But, you know, it's just, I, I don't, not too many moderators in my chat because I don't like moderating my chat too much. I like for you guys to say whatever you want to say. Have fun. Make crass jokes. Tell me I'm tell me I'm a loser. I don't care. You guys can say whatever you want. So yeah, keep the moderation staff limited. They're really here just to make sure that we uh we get those sex bots when they come rolling through. Oh, I love the smell of garlic. It's so nice. Hi, Firefly. Yeah, I bet you love the smell of garlic. You could probably rub that shit in your armpits if you could. Where that shit is a fucking deodorant. I can't wait deodorant. to assemble this garlic. And, and the onions and the tomatoes and the rosemary. And the thyme on this focaccia. It's going to be so delicious. Your like, dough really looks like, like, your oh dough God, looks like something a kindergarten oh class would make. I mean, my God, a six-year-old can make better dough than you. Oh my God, I did a double garlic clove. Awesome. This is going to taste like ass. That's awesome. And it is going to adhere itself oh my God, to the digestive tract. I got to this video. Me and my daughter is ready to learn. Hope your beautiful family is doing good. I am, Crystal. I am beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Freddy, oh, you're listening to like some punk. stuff. I posted a new video. Oh, okay. Well, good for you, Ruby. We'll go pause the video to you. We go pause the video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm being weird. I'm really sad though about this one. I wish I, I wish I, because I didn't watch it before I put, decided to use this one. But I'm kind of sad because she, she's not high really in this one. She's not really that high, so it's not really that funny. I mean, it's still terrible because I mean, look at her fucking kitchen. And again, this was a brand new townhome when they moved in. And from what I understand, they'd only been living there for maybe a year when they got booted. So this is a brand new townhome. And it already looks like shit. Her stove looks worse than mine. I have a glass top stove myself, and it's about 10 years old. And it is so much cleaner than hers. <sighs> It 
it's it's what what's what what's pre-made my dough i made this dough myself yeah we can tell really degrees. actually easy to make okay all it requires is flour water salt yeast that's all it requires and time to just let it rest okay then where did all the fucking oil come from if all it requires is water flour oil or salt and yeast then where the fuck did all the oil come from why did you kill the yeast yeast hey boxy oh boxy yeah she's sitting down because she's a lazy fuck and she can't stand up to cook which i mean oh yeah and cat hair she had a cat hair she had a cat hair to this she had a cat hair and a shit ton of oil to her dough but well i will full disclosure i will admit I'm a fat bitch myself, and if I have to do something like in the kitchen where I am going to be standing for a while, hey Aries, um, where I'm going to be standing for a while, I do have a stool that I use, and but my stool actually raises me up to an appropriate level. All right, go get the kid to bed, Queen. Raises the raises me up to an appropriate level where I can actually work at the stove without having to be have my face and everything. Yeah, the dough is separating. Uh, and again, I will reiterate for the people that just came in, this pan right here, if you look, it is disgustingly dirty. And she pulled it out of the cabinet like that. That's not from her cooking with it. She pulled it out of the cabinet and it was that gross. And puff up and be delicious. That's all it requires. It doesn't require anything else. Yeah, you added a bunch of shit to so. it. I don't know. I've been making different doughs since I was little. Someone Very needs little, to teach you how. Doughs. Someone different needs to teach you how. Biscuit dough, pizza dough, bread dough, uh, pie doughs, different types of pie doughs. Oh yeah, Boxy. Her um her boyfriend that she lives with, Rev, and her two kids have got to eat this shit. One of the boys is autistic. So yeah, her autistic son has got to eat her bullshit. In fact, because you got like the shortbread type of pie dough, but yet you have like the salty type of pie dough that's like really like uh flaky. I did make the dough. I did. If you want to know how I made the dough, you need to throw it away. I actually have an episode um, on YouTube on Shani's Cooking Show where I show you how to make some piece of dough. It's a very similar recipe to what I used for the focaccia. So if you'd like to, you could go watch that, and I would teach you, and it would teach you how to make this particular. Oh no, Boxy! This was. Let's see. Let's see if uh, XX has the date for this one. Um. No, she doesn't have the actual date for it, but this is from se like seven months ago that she uploaded this. This was back when, um, this was back when they still lived in Colorado. So this is an older video. It's not a recent video. They can't cook to save their, I mean, all they're eating right now is shit that they order through DoorDash because some idiot keeps cow tipping. So, yeah. Their dough. And you can use you can use it for pizza, you can make it with focaccia. It looks good and stretchy. Thank you. It looks disgusting. Thank you. Now that I got that, we got to do the onion. Take the label. <laughs> which this is a Vidalia onion. And I will remind you guys, those of you who are just coming in, this cutting board that she's using right here to cut. She didn't wash it after she got done playing with her Play-Doh on it. So all the vegetables are getting shit ton of flour on them. Whatever was on this shirt back here. Because that's what she used to cover the dough. And it was just in a pot. She doesn't even have a fucking bowl to put it in. Because a little quick history lesson for those of you who don't know. No, she can't cut a fucking onion. She doesn't know how to, she doesn't know how to do anything. And that knife, she just got done cutting tomatoes with that knife. She can't even wash it. She can't even rinse it off. But, uh, no, she can't do anything. But 
Shani and Rev, when they were in Colorado, they lived, as far as I can remember, they lived in two separate apartments. This was the second place that they lived in in Colorado. And each time that they moved, they would leave all of their shit behind and just buy new shit in the new apartment. So when they moved from their, the apartment that they got kicked out of because Shani got arrested for beating her boyfriend, um, they left all their stuff because Shani's like, I can't move anything. I'm too disabled. And Rev, he can't move anything. And the boys, they're young. Please. I remember moving stuff with my parents when I was young. I could, I could move shit when I was their age. Bullshit, Shani. But what she would do is she would leave all of her shit at her old house and buy new shit. Yeah, she can't afford it now. There, this was during this this particular time when she started doing these cooking videos was during a was during the time after they'd already run out of all the money. Out of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, they had run out of it because they lived beyond their means. And everything else before the before this, they door dashed everything, and I can guarantee you that she probably I'm seeing the the infamous seltzer water in the background there. You'll see it right back here. She probably put that in the dough too. That's probably the water that she used for the dough. Yep, she's sitting because she's too fat to stand. Which I mean, I can't really <laughs> I can't really say too much. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Mm -mm. It was beautiful. But all of the food that she cooks on here, everything that she makes is paid for by the Colorado taxpayers because this was during the time when they had run out of money. They couldn't door dash every meal that they could eat. And so Shani had to start buying food with food stamps. And I remember... There was a, she did a shopping vlog where she actually went to the grocery store and she walked around like a normal fucking person. And she, I think they spent like over a hundred dollars in food stamps on ingredients for two meals. Mm-hmm. Which means we know it's very good if it's a Vidalia. And sweet and yummy. My husband knows to pick the Vidalia's out because he's, you know, also very good in knowing culinary stuff. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I know a few things. <laughs> he should make a Jason Avocados episode where he actually cooks yeah. for us. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Definitely. Yeah, we'll wow. just. I'd we'll love to see that, Jason like, cook. that super couple who cooks. Yeah. I love that. I don't know who that is particularly, but oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna slice it this way. Actually, I can't. It's so like sticky right now. I know. Oh, there we go. She was just No, it's not bad that she wanted to cut her finger off. She was just saying while she was cutting the tomato that she wished she had a serrated knife. And now she's using the fucking serrated knife to hold the onion in place. Hey, I'm good for you, Firefly! Greens, but it's difficult. This onion is so slippery. No, because you just don't know what you're doing. You need a, you need a better knife. Mm -hmm. It's not working for me, man. You don't make... It, I think what it is is it's just so big. You know what? I'm going to kick it. I'm going to cut it in half. Fuck it. We're going to cut it in half, folks. And just slice down. But really, I think I have enough onions, so I'm going to... Oh, yeah, we have seen him cook, haven't we? That was from... That was also one of the segments in the uh, Cooking with Rev video that I played at the beginning of the stream. I'm going to save this... So maybe it's Rev that should be cooking shit. Actually, do I, do I have enough onions? Yeah, I do. I don't need it for the fettuccine, so I'm just going to save this. And let it rot. I'm probably, probably, 
I figure. Oh, oh no, Boxy, Boxy, you, you, you misunderstand. Shani was trained by culinary masters. She's a culinary genius. She should be cooking for Gordon Ramsay. Didn't you know that? Get with the program, dude. With the onions that I have, I'll just make some. I don't know. I'll figure it out what to do with it. What am I making? I'm making focaccia and fettuccine Alfredo. Mm -hmm. No, what you're making is a mess. Mm -hmm. Now she's staring oh, at Oh, you're the making comments. homemade chicken and rice for your babies? That sounds wonderful. There is no brand of dough of it. I made the dough myself. So, all right. And she Time made the dough herself. Oh. There's her dough. homemade dough, guys. Here, like so. This and also, guys, um, <laughs> she's such a pro. Yeah, she, the kitchen in their apart in their townhome that they're current that they were living in in Colorado has so much counter space on it. I wish I had that much counter space. I literally have to be, I literally have to do all of my cooking and all of my prep work and shit. Um, on my stove because, oh yeah, the stove, it was brand new, brand spanking new when they moved in, they destroyed this apartment, but her, it has so much counter space. And like I said, I have to, I have to do all of my prep work and all of my cooking on my stove top because I don't have counter space in my kitchen. My kitchen is tiny. <laughs> but um, she does all of this stuff right there on the stove. Because she's too lazy and her house is too fucking messy. That they don't want to risk anybody getting a look at it. For her to move the, move the damn phone. So she can move to a counter. So she does everything on the fucking stove. And it's disgusting is the dough that has been made my lovelies with love and care and it's nice and stretchy and elastic and it's soft that's most importantly it's soft it's because soft. i made sure to put it a it's soft because you put a shit ton of oil in it and then it absorbed the flour when you were kneading it that's why it's soft and it looks like fucking dried up play-doh put amount of uh olive oil on it not more oil. Put olive oil in your stuff it's worth it so i'm gonna stand up while doing this <gasps> she's standing because up guys easier, holy shit like face down so she is i'm gonna put she is not wearing an extra tight bra so pretty soon her titties are probably gonna flop into the pan Hey, look, I got some cloud slime today, Freddie McDonald. Not right. I got some cloud slime today. And I will show you it. Hold on. Let me, oh, wait. I could probably just pull it up on Discord. Yeah, I know. She's standing up. Isn't it amazing? You can say hi to yourself, guys. <laughs> Let me get that. Uh, in general. Yeah, there it is. I got some cloud dough slime from Peachy Babies. Oh, it's so good. Watch. Just watch this shit. Uh, just look at that. Oh, it's, it feels so good, too. I just want to play with it. Yeah, I got it from a website called Peachy Babies, and it's called Cloud Slime. Some rosemary on. 
the top of it. <laughs> it does not look like Shandy's dough. I love While cloud While rubbing slime. fingers across the rosemary at the same time because it will release the oils of the rosemary, which is that's exactly what you want. Make sure to cover it and press down. So, no, it's not the, edible. Um, it's no, no. The slime Aries is not edible. Do not eat the. You can actually they they do actually have recipes for edible slime. Like if you want to make some for kids, they do have some recipes for edible slime online. But no, the slime that I purchased from Peachy Babies, it is not edible. It has uh, borax in it, which is an activator that they use to make it into slime. So, yeah, don't eat the slime. <laughs> Rosemary actually becomes one with the dough. And it's the same with the thyme. You do the same thing with the thyme. Because you want, because most focaccias are very, like, herby in taste. So you kind of want that herby yeah, but Beautiful, I'm sure like, that the people who make them actually know what the fuck they're doing. That is known. Yeah, the main ingredient is blue, too. That's the difference between that and, like, a pizza dough. Ooh. Focaccia and a pizza dough. Is focaccia yes. is more herby and with more, like, fresh veggies compared to a pizza. Oh, yeah, guys. If you guys didn't know, uh, Boxy, the guy in the chat with us today, he's actually the guy that uh, I play Minecraft with. And we do the uh, next, we do the live series. So we'll be doing another life series in January. Hopefully this one will last more than three sessions. That seems to be our running number. We only last like three sessions and then we blow everything up. Which is like a bunch of cheese, a bunch of sauce. Don't worry, I'll be a pyro. A bunch again. of other ingredients. But this makes it easy. So I'm just going to take the onions, just place it e evenly on it. Yeah, Firefly. We're going to assemblage. Um, there's actually a few. I actually have uh, at least a couple episodes of it on my on my YouTube channel. <laughs> on my YouTube channel of the uh, Minecraft series that me and Boxy play in every now and then. So, yeah. So, next live series coming in January. Yay! I get to set things on fire again. Beauty. Yeah, that's a perfect amount of onion, actually. You don't want to overdo the onions in the focaccia, but you want just enough. <laughs> you expecting us to not to go crazy, Boxy? Come on now. You know we're going to go nuts and we're going like to wind so. up killing each other. <laughs> and then we're going to place the tomatoes like kind of in between the onions. Like so. Oh god, that dough looks like shit. I can't get over how how greasy the dough was when we're she pulled it out. We're putting tomatoes on the focaccia now. And oh, tomatoes on the focaccia is so good because it cooks in. Hey, and it becomes good. nice and soft. And it's so absolutely delicious and refreshing. Oh no, Firefly, you can, you can ask Boxy. When I was, uh, this last series that we did, I was fucking nuts. <laughs> I was crazy. Impression. <laughs> oh yeah, and she I does. Absolutely she loves love saying those cringy it's just cooking words and stuff. I just can't. I just cannot get over remembering how greasy that dough was when she pulled it out of the pot. Mm. Ugh. Put it right there. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember Boxy whenever we do the next series. I'm gonna have I'm to remember gonna to get everybody's these. channel so I can put them in my description. Why not? All right. Now the garlic cloves. One, two, three, one. I almost burned two, down everything. Three, <laughs> I, set the, I, I set the whole forest on fire. What are you talking about? Put the garlic cloves in here and they will become like roasted garlic. Oh no, uh, Freddy, Freddy, uh, Peachy Babies, um... Peachy, uh, Peachy Babies, uh, well actually let me... Let me uh, go to channel. I'll get his. I'll get the channel. Um. But yeah, uh, Peachy Babies. They do. This is Boxy's channel. Uh, Peachy Babies. They sell out really, really quickly all the time. 
And I do believe that they have new drops on Fridays. So you definitely want to go there on Friday and order because that's how I got my three. So, yeah. Oh, no, Firefly. I was dressed up as a creeper. <laughs> that's my skin. My skin is a creeper and my, my name in uh, Minecraft is called Creepski. I'm a little creeper in a maid outfit. Garlic in the oven. Put garlic cloves in this and release a bunch of onion, uh, a bunch of like um, garlic, like oil into the dough. They actually do have a YouTube channel, Freddie. Let me see if I can my little cheat sheet so pull I can up have another garlicly taste all over. We're gonna another take some window. garlic powder. Sorry for the blackout. Make sure it's genuine. And then we'll take some sea salt and make, make it, I say put as much sea salt as you would into like a pretzel. Yeah, Freddie, this, this right here is their actual YouTube channel. So it. just a little bit of salt, guys. You just want a little bit of salt. Because it'll draw the taste out of the vegetables to the salt. Just a little bit of salt, guys. You only want a little, little bit, bit of salt. Of parm on it. Not a lot of parm. We're not doing a lot of, we're not doing a, I love cheese yet. Okay, we're not doing that yet. We're just putting a little sprinkle. A little, a little kiss of the Parmesan. So it can just bake a little on that bread and be like nice and toasty isn't that a oh god look at her stove oh, I, I i know i make a big deal about her stove whenever i do these but holy shit look at her fucking stove a beautiful looking focaccia i can't wait to see it fully baked But that is a beautiful looking focaccia. And this whole meal, or this whole focaccia, is a little under $4. So why not make your own dough and make your own focaccia? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, no, uh, Boxy. Um... We'll definitely have to cover it one day, but she does. There is actually a live stream out there where she makes um, birthday dinner and cupcakes for her youngest son, and it's just as much of a disaster as you would imagine because she's fucking high as fuck when she makes it. She's not really high here, so yeah. It's it's amazing. So that is the most that dough has risen since she pulled it out of that fucking pan. And set the timer. Please wipe off your stove. In 30 minutes. Please wipe it off. Because that's how long it should cook the dough. <laughs> and I'm going to clean off. The oh, no. From what I understand, uh, from what someone has told me, there was actually a live stream where her boobs actually mess with the with the controls on the stove which is which to me is hilarious this a little bit because we're gonna start making the alfredo sauce please please wipe your stove off yummy yummy right there there we go she didn't even wash off her holy shit <laughs> Shanny, the cutting board if you're done with it it goes in the fucking sink you dumbass Oh, thank God she's wiping off the stove. Oh, not good enough. It's not good enough. Why are you using the scrubby side? Why are you... Hey, Tangle Bliss. Why are you using... Stop using the scrubby sides, Shanny. No, Shanny, this is not the time for you to actually clean your stove. You should have done that beforehand. And now that all the flour is go. gone, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the beginnings of burn marks on her stove. 
And again, I will remind you, this was brand new when they moved in, and they only lived in there for maybe a year. Oh. Oh, I don't want to fight her, Boxy. She's fast when she gets triggered. Oh, the temperature I put it on was three fifty, just standard bacon t temperature. When when she when she when she gets mad, she moves fast. But yeah, fat girl uh, yes, fight for a half hour. Okay, cool. Put the water on, and let me wash this off. <gasps> Oh my god, is she actually washing off the fucking cutting board? Holy shit. All right. Ew! Ew! Look at no. all that shit there! Ew! Don't you just want that? Doesn't that look yummy? Uh, I know Doesn't that too. look yummy? It just adds more flavor. We're not doing that yet. Where is my glass dish? We're not doing that yet. Right now, what I think I'm gonna be making is the cucumber and tomato salad. Now the computer, the computer. Oh my god. The computer. The tomato and cucumber salad is probably the best. It's $4.99. Um, let me give you the link to my membership. <sighs> Yeah, you do. You do. Sorry, I got this. I will link you to my <laughs> membership right now. Yeah, you you've really got you've really got to work hard to get scorch marks like that on her stove. And they only get worse the more she does these cooking shows. I mean, like I like I said, I hate to re I hate to keep reiterating this, but I have a glass stove top. I have a glass top stove at my at my house that I cook on. And me and my mom cook on. And she there are not as many scorch marks on that stove and that stove we're the second people to own that stove. My grandma owned it before us and it she had it for years. I want to say this thing is at least 10 years old. And it does not have as bad scorch marks as this stove does. And they only had it for a year. Ugh. This is an hour, so I figured that about the 30 minute mark, I'll take us out of here and we'll go do a palate cleanser. We'll go watch someone who actually knows how to fucking cook. Or we'll watch another Djibouti dubs, one of the two. Apologize for that. I just put the. I just put the. I just put the. I just put the. Uh, the sorry. How long did? I oh yeah, Tangle Bliss. They. I want to say. They moved in. In 2019 or 2020, they moved into this one, and then they got kicked out in 2021. So yeah. Did I proof the yeast? Uh, um, the packet it says ten minutes, so I proofed it for ten. She's minutes. gotta have a soda break, folks. And I add double the yeast because I really wanted that yeasty taste in this focaccia. But you double the yeast. You're you doubled the yeast. You doubled the yeast. Yeast is supposed to make the dough rise. That dough, when you pulled it out of that pan, had not risen. It did not have that fluffy muffin top that dough that's, that's properly risen has. So, you killed the yeast. Probably with that fucking oil that you put in it. Because though she probably got the yeast from under a fold, so unfortunately, so I wouldn't want her yeast. Um, but you <laughs> okay, there we go. There's the joke. 
you put the wrong kind of yeast, Shani. It's supposed to be yeast from the packet that's the instant yeast, not the yeast that comes from between your fat folds. There you go. Oh, thank you for joining, Joanna. Welcome to being a pew sitter, where I shall teach you how to cook, and it shall make your tummy feel all yummy. Now I know where to do these onions. I'm going to take the rest of these onions that I have in this Ziploc bag. And we're going to put in the tomato and um, cucumber salad. Now, this is probably one of the easiest salads you probably could make. It's just so it's like all of a sudden, it's like, it, <laughs> it's like Queen, all of a sudden you just hear, Help me! Help me! I'm trapped and I fat my kid get out! Help me! Help me! It's so dark in here and it stinks! Help me! Simple ingredients, it's onions, literally t onions, tomatoes, and cucumbers sitting in a some kind of vinaigrette. And I've had cucumbers, I've had cucumber salad dressed in the southern way um which is basically like apple cider vinegar and um some kind of oil usually usually olive oil but all right auntie next time i decide to do that i'll have my mom come in here and sit on me <laughs> will that make it muffled enough but some southerners don't do the olive oil they don't like the taste so they choose like canola oil but i've also <laughs> had the japanese version of the cucumber salad and it doesn't have the tomatoes or onions in it it's just cucumbers and it has um she's it has cutting a, up uh, so big what am i trying to say it have what what vinegar is it it's rice like a, a rice wine yes thank you it's a what rice wine vinegar and, yes please um, cut off your fingers while you're not paying attention to what you're fucking doing shanny Oh, bless. What's the matter? I just feel sick. Can I feel you? Let like, me see if you have a fever, hug. I don't... I, no way. My body temperature is, like, low. You know what I mean? No, you're having a fever. For real? Yeah. Go okay. lay down. All right. Thank you, hon. You're welcome, baby. I love you. I love you. Yeah, that was perfect. Like a half of an onion in here. And then I'm going to just... She cut them up so big. Those are some huge onion chunks. And I've had cucumber tomato salad before. Oh, yeah, uh, Boxy. We've actually witnessed her eating salad. Oh, yeah, Tangled. Well, I mean, it does bother a lot of people. What bothers me about it isn't so much that she's sitting down. Because I admit that I'm a fat ass bitch. And if I'm doing something in the kitchen that requires me to be in there for a while, standing on my feet, I do have a stool that I use. But my stool actually raises me up to where I'm at a normal level for cooking. I don't have my face right in the food like she does. But, yeah, it's she. the only reason she sits down like this is because she's fat. She wants to sit there and try to blame it on all, all sorts of other things, but it's just because she's fat. And I can say the same thing because I'm fat too. So, wash these tomatoes. Wow. Why is it that you four wa tomatoes? Why is it that you wash the tomatoes but you don't wash anything else? They're the vine ripe tomatoes. I love those type of tomatoes. They just keep the flavor in. They're really natural tasting. You know what I mean? Shanny, stop worrying about the fucking chat. No, actually, keep worrying about the fucking chat. Maybe then you'll cut off a goddamn finger. No, she won't, because this is back in the past. <laughs> so this is pretty much a chop and drop salad. Those chunk I can't get over how big those onion chunks are. That's going to be disgusting.
That I'm knife just is making so chunks fucking dull. Of tomato. That's gonna be so gross. In the salad. Yeah. Yeah, mine's actually one. It's not in an. It's not an industrial stool or a bar stool. It's actually one that you can raise and lower. But I raise it up all the way, so it's. I'm pretty much almost standing in a way, but then I can just scoop my butt up on it whenever my back feels like it's hurting. And so that way, you know, I could actually be sitting with some support on my back. But yeah, I don't sit in a low office chair with my food, with my face right in the fucking food. Yeah, she, she does it. What the thing is, is that what bothers me the most about it isn't just the, isn't the fact that she sits down when she's cooking. It's the fact she sits down in a low ass fucking office chair and she has her face and her hair and everything else right in the food. And it's also the fact that, you know, she's just fucking disgusting. Oh, I can begin to smell the garlic, that roasted garlic smell of the focaccia. And her knife is so oh. fucking dull. It smells heavenly in here. Heavenly. I'm sure it smells pretty good, but it probably tastes like ass. Ugh. Get another knife, bitch. You were just talking about a serrated knife and you used it to hold the fucking onion so you could cut it. What you wonderful, beautiful people doing in the Stop. chat? Shani's cooking will make him feel better. They, they will. No, it won't. I'm cooking fettuccine alfredo, uh, a cucumber tomato salad. Oh, yeah, Firefly. She won't ever put her hair up and she won't ever put her sleeves up. That's, that's the big deal with her. In fact, during the infamous stream where she made her uh, youngest son cupcakes... She had all sorts of shit on her sleeves. And we'll de I'll definitely have to do that one. I did it before. And um, during like a pretty, you know, I was having a pretty emotional time and I actually deleted all of them. But I'll definitely have to bring that one up again because that one was just mwah, classic, classic shit. With a focaccia that's currently in the oven. They're dull like she is. Oh, wait, I didn't I'm coming over I didn't to dinner. I'm too bad. I live all the way in Mass. Looks delicious, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, this looks so good. All right. The tomatoes are almost chopped, and then we're going to go to the cucumbers and chop them up. Oh. There we go. Next, cucumbers. Listen, I know it's hard to... So. <laughs> yeah, she's a culinary genius. Absolutely. Culinary genius. Alright, so this is about 30 minute mark, so we're going to take a nice little break away from Shani. And we're going to watch another Djibouti dubs, because fuck Listen, it, I love it. I know it's hard to believe, but all of these meals were made using top ramen. Really? Ramen noodles? That's right, bitch. Hey, it's your girl Kathy, and I got a new recipe book where everything is made using top ramen. I know this is all your broke ass got in the pantry, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to eat like a king. It's a goddamn pandemic the way people have been eating top ramen wrong all these years. We about to fix that. First, we've got a barbecue beef pasta. And it's so easy to make. You just make beef and then you put the top ramen on the top and then a whole jug of ketchup and a whole can of soda. It's lit. 
Whoa, let's see that barbecue beef pasta in action. Just put a little cheese on top and no one's ever gonna know you're a cheap bastard. You see that shit right there? That ain't delivery. That's ramen. Bellissimo. Oh. You see, these other cookbooks tell you how to make a chicken casserole, but what they don't tell you is you can put two packets of top ramen on top and then a whole bucket of gravy. And just like that, dinner is served. Hey, fatso, trying to lose weight? Well, how about you stop being a basic bitch and start getting a little extra by putting a little top ramen on top with some light of vinaigrette. That means light vinaigrette in Italian. Ooh, what's this? Mm, I bit my cheek. Don't worry, I got desserts too. Have you ever had a spicy ramen baked pie a la mode? Who knew that the salty chicken flavored ramen would go so well with my berry crumble recipe? I mean, get out of town. All right, y'all, let's break it down. This book is in full color and it's only $10. But wait, I'm also going to throw in the ramen nibbles. That's a party pack. We got the Ramadan bonbons, pure red, red pepper ramen dip, and my personal favorite, spicy choco chicken ramen cakes. And that's only on the first page. There's over a hundred recipes. The possibilities are endless! Let's see what this one is. The more you sit, the faster you die. But not anymore with the Blue Tiger. It's a brand new compact seated elliptical machine that lets you work out anytime, anywhere. So sit down and shut up. Bitch, don't you know it's dangerous to go outside? Which gives you all the more reason to stay home and find a way to keep those feet moving. But not so fast, we're not trying to go anywhere. That's oh, more like God. it. Suck down a double mocha, make a crappuccino mm. while you lose weight. Mm. Pedal away your frustrations because the TV don't work. Order a pizza. How about some barbecue? Take that spreadsheet and fucking spread it. Got huge feet? Well, so does the blue tiger. Just look at her go. Pussy. Did you forget to work out? Well, there's no more excuses for all you lazy bitches, all right? I'm sitting here burning up my chub rub so I can find a good man who's not afraid to rub me down with butter. And thanks to the blue tiger, I can now crush a watermelon with my thighs, so imagine what I can do to your head. You're gonna build those muscles and pop off. Yeah, yeah. Pedal while you sleep. Fat people are always asking me, hey, doc, what should I do? And it's like, come on, you know, asshole. You know, these people, they won't stop eating, so I just prescribed them a blue tiger, and they can work out their leg muscles, their butt, and their gut while they eat. I can't tell you how many legs the blue tiger has saved me from having to amputate. It doesn't look good. Yeah. Yeah, you see this leg here? I'm going to have to go ahead and take that off. This blue device will replace doctors in the medical field. I'm going to miss taking people's legs off. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Your leg does work. My biggest success story with the blue tiger is that it saved one of my patients had a big career change. Well, I was a black belt in karate and a two-time state champ in jiu-jitsu, but, uh, you know, these days the blue tiger's about all I could do because these NFTs are taking off, boy. I stay bit mining while I'm riding. The market's gonna blow up any second now, let's be honest. And I'm just gonna keep on buying these ugly monkey cartoons till it makes sense. The blue tiger's right there with me every pedal of the way. It's the first thing I do in the morning. <laughs> And you know, I just started, so the six pack's on its way. And then I think I'm gonna go hit the beaches and fuck some bitches. You're probably sitting there not pedaling thinking, wow, that's for old people. And you're right, but it's so safe. No more walking injuries. Use a spotter to get that form just right. You can even use Blue Tiger for an upper body workout. The Blue Tiger also tracks your time and your speed. See how many miles you can clock in before you get old and die. The Blue Tiger. It's as loud or quiet as you want it to be. <laughs> Let me tell you why I fuck with this thing so hard, okay? Now, I'm at home all day long. I figured I'd buy this thing. Maybe I'll get a little bit of exercise out of it. Next thing I know, I'm trying to clean my son's room. I can't get off this damn thing. I got results quick, too. My feet start looking real nice. I start putting pictures online. Next thing you know, I got all these messages coming in. So your girl had to hit the OnlyFans one time, and now we're selling feet pics. If you're not getting a workout from the pedaling, you're definitely going to get a workout from lugging this thing around. Because, man, I tell you, it feels like it weighs about 500 pounds when I'm lifting it up and putting it down again. And it's really not that ergonomic. I mean, my hands are floating, my wrists get tired. But, you know, it's nice to do that while I'm working or if I'm at home with the wife. But I can't stand her, so I'll crank the machine. It's also very immersive to feel like I'm cycling while reading a book about Neil Armstrong. I realize now that it was the wrong Armstrong book that I was supposed to buy. But either way, I'm having a great time. The Blue Tiger. Click the link to find out how to buy yours today.
And you guys love those uh, little palate cleansers from Shani's Bad Cooking. <laughs> the ramen one is my favorite. I love Kathy. Look at her trying to pretend like she knows what she's doing. There you go. Cut off a finger. There Come on, go. bitch. You can do it. So here's here's a mental image here for you guys. Imagine Shani with that cucumber getting very turned on. <laughs> getting very turned on because it has so much weight and girth and length than Rev's tiny, tiny baby carrot. Just imagine how she's feeling down there in, in her nether regions. Just want little thin rounds of that's thin the cucumber. That's thin. Well, I mean, it's Shandy, of course, we know she thinks that thin. <laughs> you know, you guys know you love it. <laughs> thank you so much you're so sweet can't wait for the end result i know right all right this is the whole cucumber tomato yeah, i salad. tried tossing in it so, that, in that in that bowl he probably has a cold he'll be okay uh the next so thing dismissive. i'm going to do is i got this fig let me let me this fig balsamic vinaigrette and I'm just gonna dump it in it. It's like, it's made with balsamic no. vinegar, figs, and sea salt. So I'm gonna put this in as the base for the sauce. So. Oh my God. It's actually not that bad at all. So we're gonna put that on the base. Oh my god, like so. Because we gotta let these tomatoes or the tomatoes and the cucumbers and the onions marinate in the vinaigrette. Your sauce is so, so what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take two lemons and I'm going to use the juice also with the vinaigrette so it gives a little bit more of a tart taste to it. Oh, Remember to squeeze it, uh, cut side up, so you don't get any of the, uh, you know, the seeds. Oh yeah, Firefly. I believe there is a part of the uh, of the house tour that they did after these two got kicked out, where the guy goes and opens the fridge, and it's just it's completely packed, and most of it is stuff that is now that you can't eat. It's inedible into your dish. These aren't that seedy, actually. Oh, beautiful, fresh lemon juice. And if you guys don't know how she actually, she actually showed us how she squeezes them. She squeezes them with the cut side against her hand to keep the seeds out. Oh, there's going to be more of a lemon theme today, too. Because I got to get rid of some lemons. So. I'm just going to mix it in. Oh, with my God. hands. Yes, let's get, let's get all of the... Oh, yes, guys. And let's remind you. Let's remind everybody. She hasn't washed her hands one time during this entire thing. She's not washed her hands. Oh. oh yeah, Boxy, there is there's a joke that she has she does better moans eating food than she does when she's having sex. My god. This looks No, don't heavenly put that back in the right now, guys. Oh my god. 
But you do want a lot of vinaigrette when so you make good. a tomato and cucumber salad. Because you want stuff. them, you want the cucumbers and the tomatoes to absorb the juice. So, apologize for that again. juice is cleaning your hands just fine right. so we got to start chopping things up now let me let me wash this off holy shit are you actually gonna but put we water need to start on something? chopping up things now for our fettuccine i just can't get over the scorch marks the on that stove. sauce all right so what we need for the fettuccine is where are you the garlic, the parsley, and that's it. Oh, wait, I forgot. We got these amazing baby bell mushrooms that I got to chop up, so I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, she, she just wiped her hands on her pants. Thank you. This is a hard one. Ah. Gotcha. I mean, anything, anything will eventually buckle under 500, clothes, 500 but, you know, pounds some, of weight. I think I'm going to do like six cloves of garlic. I actually found that one, Freddie. I was going to play it, but you know, I didn't, I wanted this one instead. Um, but yeah, I did find that one. XX has got a playlist of her of the different of her different little cooking shows that she did, and I really wish I could also find the mukbangs that Jason did for these, especially for I want to I wish I could find the uh, live stream of her doing the uh, the vegetarian buffalo chicken tacos because she tries to make she quote unquote tries to make her own. Um, <laughs> Boopa, boopa. Yes, um, she tries to make her own uh, homemade tortillas, and it's just as disastrous as you think. <laughs> I wish I could find it. I've not been able to find it at all. Garlic in my Alfredo sauce. Now I learned this Alfredo sauce actually from when I was working as a home health caregiver. And when she was working in a group home as a fucking janitor, that's what she means. And one of the recipes they wanted me to have make is this one. Except I'm doing a little flair on it. I am adding mushrooms to the dish. But yeah, I'm just gonna smash these. two seven cloves of garlic i guess she ain't smash go oh please sing shanny we we love it when you sing huh Oh, thank you, Karen McCarrison. Thank you. So much pretty vanilla. <laughs> Shanny, please. Stop reading the fucking chat. Jesus. Oh, he'll feel better. He Jesus. really has low blood sugar because he hasn't eaten today, so he needs to eat something. And it'll feel better. She's so Mama Shannon will make Rev his belly sick. all nice and yummy feeling. So I'm not too worried. All nice and yummy feeling? Was this the reason why he had to chase down all of your cooking with a bottle of Pepto Bismol? Is that why? Because it made him feel all yummy? Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. 
What was that? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Your cat has a CBD oil in? That's awesome. No, no, no. But speaking of our Carrie, I do believe that she just went live. I believe I just saw that. I just got a notification. Yep, there she is. See, I think you're crazy. Just like me. My heroes had the heart to lose their life out on a limb. All right, so I'll put this and in. And I'll remember his thinking. I want to be like Oh, yeah, them. we're definitely going to add a love and more to her chat. Ooh. So you guys go over there, show Scanny some love. Ever since I was little, day. ever since I was and little, it looked like been. fun. Sorry, it's, it's, and it's no coincidence. But, uh, yeah, y'all go on over there, show her some love. Um, and I can die when I'm done. And uh, let her and her husband know that well, I'm the mischievous little shit that's in all of you over there. So. <laughs> maybe you're crazy. <laughs> oh, no, maybe we'll go on over. Crazy. I don't want to compete with Carrie. Yeah, I'm going to be going over there. I'm already screen sniping, so let me let her know. And probably. Uh huh. Thanks, COVID, for fucking my lungs. All right, so we'll go on over there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll see you guys over there. <laughs> mm -hmm.